This is a DJI F330 running a KK2 board. Uh, turning a 2822-17, 1100kV motors, 2250mAh, uh, 35C3 S battery, and then 20 amp Skywalker ESCs. These ESCs are not flashed, uh, they're stock ESCs, and I'm also using prop savers on the propellers, which I believe are awesome, because, yeah saved me a few props already. So let's have a look. So as you can see this quad flies very very well with only stock ESCs and this is said in reference with a discussion I'm having with someone on RC groups who uh, was under the impression that uh, that having Simonized um, or Simon K flashed ESCs is necessary I think the word necessary is too big a word for this you can see this quadcopter is flying quite fine without such ESCs now, is it going to fly better with flash ESCs? Well, I think without a doubt. Is it necessary to have such ESCs? Absolutely not. This quad is flying just fine as it is. It, can it fly better? I'm sure it can. The bottom line is I don't think the word necessary is really applicable to, to this. <clears throat> The recovery is quite good. And look, no oscillation on the way down. There's really nothing wrong with these ESCs. Shoots right up straight. Let it fall down. Through its prop wash, no oscillation whatsoever. And those are not expensive uh, ESCs either. They're just cheapos. Skywalker ESCs. I think I paid about thirty dollars for four of them on Taiwan eBay's, or the equivalent of in Taiwan money. Whoop, 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 whoop. Overshot it. I'm running really high stick scaling on a KK2 board, 110. What this means now is this thing will flip at about 40% uh, cyclic, either Elron or Elevator. So it's very easy to overshoot it, but the advantage to this is that I don't need to travel very far with my cyclic stick to get good control, and I like that. Basically, mean I'm, I'm I can fly the this quad um, while well, really the, the stick movement, uh, the right stick on mode 2, which is a cyclic stick, a run elevator. I don't need to go all the way left or right or forward, backward to pull flips. Just a little bit and it flips for me. That way I'm, you know, I find it's, it's makes it easier to control. Uh, maybe not on a beginner's point of view, since beginners tend to overshoot often, like I just did there. Um, but for acrobatics, I find it's 
it's it's really uh, gives me more control to be able to flip it close to center stick. And do I've uh, been practicing this inverted stall too. It's quite fun. And again, for stock Kia C's there, I'm able to do that. Like, I'm able to do inverted stall, flip it at the last minute, I get zero oscillation, and it's just, it's awesome. So, are Simon K ESC's going to be better? Well, I, I would assume so, since this is what everyone is saying. So, I've got some on order, and I'm going to try them. So, I may change my mind. Uh, as far as these stock ESCs are, uh, are concerned, but really, uh, the word necessary, like, look, this is no hands here. This thing is very stable. Very good response, you can see. See, now this was definitely a pilot error here, no doubt about it. See how we did. I bring that back to my launching pad, or I should say my doghouse. And again, this is a bit of a testament to the prop, prop savers. I think I'm going to be able to go right back up here. Get the pop one propeller back in. Two propellers need to pop back on. Get a bit of dirt off a motor. And let's see how we do. There we go. This uh, quadcopter has been very, very sturdy for me. I crash it like this regularly every day. Well, every time I fly it anyways. Almost every time.
that's it. So just to conclude this, uh, and repeat the questions. I just saw the video there. So I think it's very, very obvious that having uh, having flashed ESCs is not necessary to have fun and have a quadcopter that will fly well enough to have a whole lot of fun with it. Now. I will be trying some flash TSCs, hopefully if I can manage to flash them myself in the next week or so, and I shall report on the difference between stock ESCs and flash TSCs, because at this point in time, uh, really the extent, of, the extent of my opinion on this is limited to only using uh, non-flash TSCs. I've never used flash TSCs yet. So I'm going to wait uh, to talk further about this until I get the flash DSCs, and then we'll go from there. Looks like I did get some damage today. I got my LED light there. Decided to stop working. Looks like I banged it up. Okay, that's all for today. Hope you enjoyed the video.